What it do, what it do, fam? This is your boy D, and I'm back with another video. And those who are returning, amen. Thank you for your support. And for those who are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like, comment, you make a comment, and you know, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press that post bell notification button that you can get future content. Now, this story is um, out of Dallas, Texas. Shout out Dallas. And this is um, regarding a youth pastor named um, Denzel Brandons. And um, a minister of music. And so whoever, you know, Joshua Bill Andrews, he is the adopted son of the pastor of the church. He's the adopted son, rather. And both of them played vital roles in the church. Um, I'm going to show you this video, and then we're going to talk about it. A man was gunned down moments after an Easter Sunday church service in South Dallas. Police say the confrontation started with an argument between two men. As NBC 5's Alicia Barrera explains, the suspect and victim had close ties to the church. Good afternoon. It was Easter Sunday, which meant that a lot of people were home and most of them witnessing when that man was running down 56th Street moments before being gunned down. He was running on foot. He was running. All evidence now cleared out, but the images still vivid in the minds of neighbors. Just scared. Um, like, I don't want my kids to be, you know, in the front by themselves playing. Easter Sunday celebrations along 56th Street. Me and my family, we was in the house uh, playing games. Blocked off with caution tape after multiple shots were fired. And all of a sudden we heard two shots. And then next thing you know, you hear a pow, 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 pow. I seen that the guy was laying, you know, on the ground and, you know, people were yelling. Police say Joshua Xavier Andrews ran from the scene, but later turned himself in and confessed to shooting Denzel Branch. He's now charged with murder. The only thing I know is that it started at the church down the street down there, and we seen him running this way. According to the arrest affidavit, witnesses told police both men had attended Easter services and got into an argument outside of New Generation Church. Branch allegedly punched Andrews in the face, which led the suspect to pull out his gun. Andrews later telling police the argument stemmed from a love triangle after the victim's now ex-wife had an affair with Andrews. Witnesses claim both men had close ties to the church, including the victim allegedly serving as a youth minister. However, the church only posting a statement on Facebook that says in part, they're deeply saddened by the tragic incident. In South Dallas, Alicia Barrera, NBC5. There you have it. Um, you had um, the youth pastor, Denzel Branch, what, 31 years old? And um, he was the youth minister, yeah. you know, at, um, you know, um, the church there. And, and then... You know, the other guy, Joshua Bell Andrew, he was actually the musician and the adopted son of the the um, bishop at the church. He was his adopted son, so both of them played a vital role in this um, in in the church. They both were vital they had vital roles. They both they say both had you know it was um. An anointed time at church, you know. Said both of them shouted and they danced and everything on Easter Sunday. Even um, you know, Minister uh, Youth Minister Branch had preached the um, Good Friday service. But you know, they said prior to this incident. Um, They said there was an altercation that happened between Pastor, um, I mean, well, youth pastor, uh, Branch, 
and um, the Minister of Music, um, Joshua uh, Bell Andrews, and said that, you know, that, you know, um, Minister Branch had put a, a bad whooping onto, you know, um, you know, onto um, the musician. And it was a, a beef since then. And then I guess Sun, you know, on Easter Sunday, because I guess something basically was going on prior to this, before you know they were, you know, uh, separated. You know, and we just gotta pray for this because of the fact is, this is what the devil wants the people to see what you know that you know this, you know, you know type of thing is happening right there in the church. And the minister music was wrong because that was, you know, at the time before, the, the, you know, they was talking about divorce. You know, they weren't even fully divorced yet. That was this man's wife, and he, she had three children with him already. And, you know, and this is what we got to realize, and this is why I keep coming back to, for iniquity shall abound, the love of many have waxed cold. And we know what the Bible says about adultery. You know what I'm saying? That sin, but you know what? You know, and, and what started this um, thing was the minister of music, you know, Joshua um, Andrews, went, he had on a pink suit, went and changed out of pink suit into, a, I guess, a white suit that matched the um, youth minister's wife. Minister Branch, so they could take pictures, and then Minister Branch front confronted him, and um, he, you know, and um, Andrews, you know, was sarcastic, you know, and one thing led to another, and then there was a altercation, and he put his, um, you know, he had already put his um, children in the car, and everything. And I guess they got into it, you know. And he hit him while he was in the car. Um, the minister of music got out, pulled his gun out, and shot the man right there on the street. Right there, outside, every, in front of everybody's plain view. In front of the church, in front of the neighborhood, where everybody could see, you know. And... It scared, you know, everybody. But my thing is, is, and I'm, I'm saying this, you know, this story all over um, the internet. But the sad thing is that it should never have happened. Now, we know what the word tells us about adultery and fornication, you know. You know, the thing is, you can't burn in lust after another man's wife. I mean, though, they were in the midst of being a divorce, but I, what it was, he was the cause of it. The cause of, 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 of them, you know, in the first place. My thing is, you know what, that's what the enemy wants people to look at the church as, you know, a ball of confusion, and that's not what the church is supposed to be. But the church is not just that building. We, as the body of Christ, have to conduct ourselves as Christians. Now, I'm going to talk about something, you know, what it's, the Bible even says about adultery. It said, but... I say unto you that whosoever look at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery within within his heart. And that's in Matthew's chapter 27 and 28. So, uh, you know, right there, when he was lusting after this man's wife before they were even, you know, you know, talk, you know, divorced or whatever, you know, um, he already committed adultery. And that's wrong. And then this is what the Old Testament said. Now thank God for the 
grace of Jesus Christ and the bloodshed, amen, that bought us back and redeemed us, because we was in the days of the old, it said right here in Leviticus 20 and 10, said, the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, the adulterer and the adulterer shall be put to death. And that's what it said in the Old Testament, in Leviticus 20 and 10. But thank God for the grace of Jesus Christ that shed the blood, because, I mean, for that act, he would have been put to death, and so would she, she have been, you know. And But the thing about it is, we got to pray and pray for his, 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 their deliverance. But now there's a man gone, a children without father. My thing is the wife was wrong, the musician was wrong, point blank. And I pray, I pray. The Lord will have mercy upon them. I'm praying for the family, for their strength. I'm praying for, you know, that the body of Christ will get it together because I'm telling you, Christ is soon to retire. We don't know the man, day or the hour that the Son of Man shall come. We don't know when Jesus is going to show up. But he just said for us to be ready. But behavior like this, this is unacceptable. This goes back to being a living sacrifice, according to Romans 12, 1 and 2, saying, what was that? Uh, you know, be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Christ, which is our reasonable service. That's, you know, everything is not good. Everything's not acceptable. And everything showed is not in the perfect will of God. That was not in the perfect will of God. So many people was traumatized. Them children are traumatized. The neighborhood was traumatized. People that witnessed this is traumatized. You just gonna say, pray. Pray and pray more. That's I mean, that's all you can do because that's where the power is. Yeah. It's your boy D. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. And God loves you. So do I, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Things are above and beyond, uh, beyond your control. Take your hands off. Let God do it because he's in full control. To the next video, peace.